Welcome back to 2 News at 10 o'clock. As always, glad you are with us this evening. It's one of only two major league sports teams in the state of Utah, Real Salt Lake, and goalie Nick Ramondo is one of the faces of the franchise. In this week's Person to Person, Shauna Lake interviews Ramondo about his life on the field and off. On the field, he has become one of the very top goalies in the country, but off the field, Nick is a loving dad who enjoys reaching out and connecting with his fans. I got a chance to sit down and talk with Nick person to person. This shot, Ramondo gets a touch. Big save, Ramondo! What has it been like for you to be a player there, and what are some of the highlights of your career thus far? I think the highlights, the first thing that comes to mind is winning the championship in 2009. It was a rough road to get there. Um, I, was, I came here when... I think Real was just a name. We didn't have an identity, a style of play. Jason Christ took over and really revamped the team and picked his players and, and uh, the right attitudes. And um, we made it work in 2009. You get a lot of credit for bringing fans into the sport because you're so involved in social media, mm -hmm. Twitter and Facebook. Mm -hmm. You really make those fans feel like they know Nick as a person. I do. I think it's an, an avenue that fans can, can relate with you. And, and you know they're not only fans while you're on the field. They want to be involved. They want to know what Nick Romano does off the field, what Kyle Beckerman does off the field. And, and I think it's just an avenue, an easy avenue for me to, to get them involved. And, you know, we're very approachable players. We, we want to be, we need that, that approachability to, to be there so fans, you know, can, can talk to us and, and for the growth of soccer to grow here, in, not only in Utah, but, but uh, in the United States. I'm glad to hear you say you're approachable, because now mm -hmm. I'm going to ask you some questions about your life. Because <laughs> I think people want to know that you're a dad. Mm -hmm. You're a dad of two kids. Mm -hmm. Tell me, you know, you're a superstar goalie, and you know exactly what you're doing on the soccer field. Tell me uh, what it's like to be a father for you. There's no yeah. real rule book no, to there doing isn't. that. No. There's definitely not a rule book for that. <laughs> you you kind of get thrown into the, into the fire a little bit, but it's definitely uh, one of the best, I think, feelings and... and uh, Things you could have. I, I adore my kids. I adore my family. Utah is such a family-oriented state, and, and I think uh, you know half half of Utah knows what my kids look like, and, and they follow me on Instagram and Twitter, and, and it's just fun. It's, it's fun to to get them involved and, and to bring them onto the field. And numerous fans come up to me and, and tell me how how they adore my kids coming onto the field after the game. And um, it's it's one of the reasons I love being here. People really just bring bring us in, and, and, and we really feel like family. Your kids play soccer. Mm -hmm. You're not their coach. Tell me a little no. bit about that. And is there yeah. any pressure for them? I hope not. I don't want pressure. I've never had pressure growing up. My, my father put me in every sport and let me do what I wanted to do. Um, he didn't play soccer. He wrestled, played football, played baseball. The one thing he didn't do was play soccer, but, but I loved it, and he, and he supported me. And um, I want to do that with my kids. Um, they. They love soccer right now, I think, because Daddy does it and Mommy does it, but I want to, you know, lead them and let them do what they want to do. Um, but they do play soccer. My, my wife's a coach, and, and uh, it's fun to see them running out there and having fun and smiles on their faces. Um, they're definitely competitive. I think they get that from me, but <laughs> yeah, it's fun to see them out there and, and, and playing and, and uh, kind of relating with me a little bit. Any fan quickly notices Nick's love for tattoos. His favorites? Those of his Whoa. kids. Son Jet and daughter Benny Rose. I have Jet on my arm that maybe you can see there, and it's his hand. He was born with two, two thumbs. He was. So it has six fingers and oh means I love you, and then his name here, that one, and then I have Benny Rose up my side. That is my daughter's name. Nick, thank you so much. It has been so nice to get to know you person to person. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. If you want to see more of Shauna's interview with Nick Ramondo, including what it's like to have his own beer, his experience on the U.S. national team, and what it was like to win the championship back in 2009, you can go to our website, KUTV.com. Person to Person featuring extraordinary interviews will be every Sunday night on 2 News at 10. They are sponsored by Science.